Hello everyone. Today our topic is symmetrical components. In three phase system, the three unbalanced vectors, either voltages or currents, can be resolved into three balanced system of vectors. Okay, so the vectors of balanced system are called symmetrical components of the original system. So and the symmetrical components of three phase system are positive, that means positive sequence components, negative sequence components, and zero sequence components. Let us discuss one by one. So first one positive sequence components. So these components consist of three vectors which are equal in magnitude, displaced from each other by 120 degrees and are having the same phase sequence as the original vectors. Okay, so that means original vectors means whatever the uh, vectors uh, are there for the original unbalanced three phase system. Clear? So, this is the corresponding figure. So, here this represents, the first figure represents unbalanced voltage. Okay, so of a three phase system. Similarly, the second figure represents positive sequence voltage of an unbalanced system. Okay, so this will be having same or equal magnitude and they are displaced from each other by 120 and they are following the same phase sequence as the original vectors. Okay, so here you can see VA, VA1 and this is VB and VB1. Similarly, VC, VC1. This is how we represent positive sequence components. Let us go with the negative sequence components. The only difference between positive and negative sequence is only about uh, phase sequence. So, here is a thing. So, these components consist of three vectors equal in magnitude, displaced from each other by 120 angle, but the phase sequence will be in the opposite direction of the original vectors. Clear? So, this is the corresponding figure. Here, I have taken phase A as my reference. So, there won't be any change in the representation. So, what is the change here? What is the phase sequence here? Here the phase sequence is in the first unbalanced voltage, the phase sequence is ABC. Now, in the negative phase sequence components, okay, the sequence, the phase sequence is ACB, okay. This is how we represent. So again, we are having the same magnitude displaced from each other by 120, but the thing is that the phase sequence will be opposite to that of the original vectors. Okay, so this is about negative sequence components. Yeah. Next, zero sequence components. So here, the phase sequence, the name itself indicates. Okay, here the phase sequence, phase uh, difference between each vector. So will be zero. So these components consist of three vectors, equal in magnitude, but with zero phase displacement from each other. Okay, so this is how the zero sequence components will be represent. Is that clear? So, positive sequence components, negative sequence components and zero sequence components and their representations. Okay. So, now collectively we can look it into uh, a single slide. Okay. So, this is how the positive sequence components, okay, representation and this is a negative sequence components representation and this is a zero sequence components representation. Clear? So, now we are talking about operator A. So, this is very, very important in this analysis. Okay. So, operator A can be defined like in a pure mathematical way. Okay. So, it will be defined as 1 at an angle 120 degrees. It can also be expressed in exponential form like 1 into e power j 2 pi by 3. In terms of cos and sine also we can represent like cos 2 pi by 3 plus j sin 2 pi by 3. So, the value will be minus 0.5 plus j 0.8 double 6. Okay. So, this is operator A. So, similarly, A square can be calculated and A cube can be calculated. So, whatever the uh, calculations may be, we may calculate. And uh, this relation that is 1 plus A plus A square relation is very, very helpful in our coming derivation. So, that is why we have we are going to relate the relation in an earlier way. 
okay so we just substituted here so a with a with minus 0.5 plus j 0.866 and a square with again minus 0.5 minus j 8.66 if we do the calculation simply we'll be getting zero so whenever you observe this 1 plus a plus a square simply substitute that with zero so we need to remember this relation for a long time as we all studying power systems so we need to remember certain relations so this is one of one among them okay now let us discuss computation of unbalanced vectors from their symmetrical components okay so later we can uh, do the same uh, with symmetrical components from unbalanced vectors so now let us discuss the first case unbalanced vectors from their symmetrical components so now each of the original unbalanced vector is a sum of its positive negative and zero sequence components okay so keep this point in your mind in a very very clear way okay so each original unbalanced vector is a sum of its positive negative and zero sequence components clear so now based on that statement we can relate the equations like this so where va so va is the unbalanced voltage in phase a so va0 is a zero sequence component va1 is a positive sequence component and va2 is a negative sequence component similarly we can do the same for phase b and phase c so these are the three relations is that clear now this is uh, again the same uh, vector diagram i just call back here positive sequence negative sequence and zero sequence components representation clear so now we are going to relate these terms with operator a we all know right so from the previous slide we concluded that a is defined as 1 at an angle 120 and we calculated a square as 1 at an angle 120 so now if i want to represent vbo look at the uh, zero sequence uh, components representation so here vbo is nothing but vao right so same relation we can observe here okay so now let us go with the positive sequence so now vb1 is there in this position no? and we are relating with phase a i have taken phase a so that's why i'm relating with phase a if you want to take c c phase you can okay so uh, now i have taken phase a as my reference so now from phase a va1 if this vector is moving in anti clockwise direction okay so how much angle it will make to reach this position 120 right uh, sorry 240 right so let us have the magnitude as 1 that is nothing but uh, a square operator no? so that's why vb1 can be written as a square into va1 clear now similarly let us go with the negative sequence now vb2 is here no again va2 is my reference so how much angle it is uh, taking in anti clockwise direction 120 no so one at an angle 120 is nothing but what operator a so that's why vab uh, sorry vb2 will be taken as a into va2 is that clear so this is how we represent the things using operator a in all zero positive and negative sequences okay similarly we can do the same with the phase c also you can observe the relations clear now what i'm doing so i have taken the first relation okay so what is that relation va equal to va naught there is a negative i mean zero sequence component of phase a and phase uh, positive sequence and negative sequence so now i have related already you know so vb as sim, uh, uh, actually vb what we write vb naught 
plus instead of this what is there the uh, in the previous line this is vb1 this is vb2 so instead of that we can write through operator a like this okay similarly for phase c we can write okay so now what i am doing i am substituting i mean i i am replacing these equations form okay representing this equation forms into matrix form okay so if it is in a matrix form it seems to be like this okay so now this equation can be used to compute the unbalanced voltage vectors from the knowledge of symmetrical components if you are having the data of this va0 va1 va2 what are they they are symmetrical components of phase a if you are aware of this then you can calculate the unbalanced voltages of your system okay so this is how we can compute the unbalanced vectors from the symmetrical components clear now what we are computing we are computing symmetrical components of unbalanced vectors okay so now uh, let us have the thing like uh, you know, from previous relation what is there here so instead of that uh, unbalanced voltages va v b v c okay you can simply replace that with the vector v okay so a into okay so this a matrix is all about uh, operator a a square and 1 okay so v s y stands for symmetrical components vector so you can observe the vectors here okay so v a and v s y so now our aim is to find this VSY. So how we can do simply VSY will be A inverse of V. Clear? Simple mathematics. So now our task is to find A inverse first. This is a simple mathematics that is adjoint A by dat A. Okay. So now we need to find A. Okay. So now that will be this matrix now. So that mat uh, that we need to calculate if we calculate then we'll be getting this relation that is 3 into a minus a square okay so now let us uh, have the cofactors of a i j okay so which is equal to what the because this is delta that no so that's why suffix delta i j we have considered here so now simply we are writing the cofactors so cofactor of uh, this first place will be what? Uh, so this is a into a square minus a into a, right? So we just have the same relation. If you substitute, you will be getting a minus a square. Similarly, rest of the cofactors that you can observe on the screen. Clear? Now. So now what we are doing, we are substituting the equation with cofactors. So A inverse is equal to what? Adjoint here by delta A, right? So 1 by de delta, simply you write it as. Okay. So adjoint here calculated, no? So transpose. So here what happens? So this rows will turn into columns. That's it. Okay. You can observe on the screen. Now. If you substitute the cofactors, we already calculated the cofactors, no? Substitute that. Okay. So, if you solve, then you will be getting this final expression. So, that is 1 by 3 and this matrix. Okay. 3 by 3 matrix. So, again, we need to remember this uh, matrix form. Then it will be easy for us to do the problems. Otherwise, every time we need to do the entire derivation. So, it is not feasible in examination. So, that's why. You better practice so many times so that automatically you will remember the relation. So now, it is a time to find uh, symmetrical components. So symmetrical components means what? Uh, A inverse into V, right? So here is the A inverse into V. So symmetrical components will be represented by the full, full length like uh, VA0, VA1 and VA2. I am taking only positive, I mean phase A okay so now 1 by 3 into the same so here v can be v is nothing but what va vb and vc clear so this is unbalanced 
voltage vector okay so now simply simple matrix multiplication then you will be getting 1 by 3 into VA plus VB plus VC similarly VA1 relation and VA2 relation you can get okay so this is how you can calculate the symmetrical components here VA0, VA1, VA2 all these are the symmetrical components computed from water VA, VB, VC you can observe the same in these two relations okay now symmetrical components of unbalanced currents can be observed so now we have discussed so far is about voltages now it is the time to discuss symmetrical components of unbalanced current vectors so no need to do any kind of mental work simply if you understand the previous derivation previous content then automatically you will understand the same in this case so or in the very simple way just simply replace v with i so uh, the derivation was done okay so all the equations developed for voltages can be used for current if we replace voltage by i done so these are the unbalanced phase currents the phase sequence is abc this is a positive phase sequence components of unbalanced currents uh, and which follows the same phase sequence of the original system that is abc now we ia2 ib2 ic2 are the negative sequence components and they'll follow the sequence which is just opposite to our original phase sequence abc so here again a will be considered as my reference so here the negative sequence will be acb and zero sequence components uh, it can't follow any kind of phase sequence they'll be all in phase okay so these are the positive negative and zero sequence components of unbalanced currents ia ib so uh, the unbalanced current can be expressed in terms of zero positive and negative sequence components of your current similarly for phase b and phase c so here ib is represented in terms of phase a using operator a okay so similarly ic will be represented in terms of phase a positive negative and zero sequence components using operator a and a square okay so if we represent these three equations in a matrix form then we can get the matrix equation like this similarly in the reverse way if i want to calculate so uh, symmetrical components of currents from unbalanced currents then we can simply do the same derivation like we did in the voltages case we can get the relations straight away like this okay so in this way we can um, find symmetrical components of unbalanced current vectors or in the reverse way so like in unsymmet i mean unbalanced currents can be calculated using symmetrical components of currents okay so this is about symmetrical components okay i hope you understand if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you